Networking Enable Wireless Network By the end of this training, you'll be able to enable the wireless network and monitor other access points. On the appliance, I went to Device and Wireless, and I can see that I have the two radio bands available. The 5 GHz is configured but disabled. The 2.4 is not configured. So let's start with that. Configure. Select the name. I've configured the network name. Protected network 2.4 so people would know that this network is... Well, it's going to be slower. The security type. My authentication is being using a password. And the password is going to be whatever it is that you want. Press apply. If I'll go to edit settings, I can see the name again. I can change it if I want to. I can see the security type, the encryption type, the password. Now from this page, if you want, you can generate a new password, which is going to be much harder to guess. Here from the wireless network tab, I can see the DHCP settings, the subnet that will be used. Access policy, allow access from this network to local networks, or you can disable it. Other DHCP settings and advanced. Press apply. In this case, I've modified the password. I'll enable the 5 GHz radio. And since I'm enabling these networks, my Watchtower application keeps popping with notifications because now there's a new network available. So it tells me about everything that's going on. So it's interesting. I can go to password protected. I can modify only the password if I want to. Press cancel. I can go to edit settings. See those settings again. Same settings, of course. If I'll click here, this settings on top, this is the actual radio setting. So if I'll click on that, I can see the frequencies that will be used, the transmitter power that will be used. I can run a schedule when this network will be available. So for example, it can only run during business hours if you want to. Now that I have enabled the wireless networks, if I'll go to local networks, I can see those networks right here. I can see the subnet that is being used. I can see that they're up. And if I'll go to logs and monitoring, under wireless active devices, I'll see nothing. So let me go ahead and add the device. So I've connected my personal computer to the wireless network. So I'll go and hit refresh. And look, there's a new device on the network. Daniel's Air. The network that it's connected to, the channel that's being used, the frequency, the signal strength, and everything. It detects that this is a uh, Apple. Next, I can go to access points. Now, unlike the previous display that we saw, the previous display was show me all of the devices that are currently connected to my network. This shows you all of the access points surrounding you. So you can see your neighbors, you can see other cafes, other businesses that are surrounding you. This is good if you want to see, for example, if there's any noise. Maybe there's another network close to you and maybe they're using the same channel. So usually it's automatic, the channel selection, but still, this is great data. And if you're familiar with wireless networks, this is a page you want to see just to better understand the wireless networks surrounding you. So this is a great page. But if you want to get an information, you need to make sure that your wireless networks are enabled. And at a glance, I can see that here I'm using channel 11 and here I'm using channel 40 right at a glance. So this is really nice. And you can also see that 16 adjacent access points use the same channel. That's why the 5 gigahertz is usually much better. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.